Hi guys, this is my first ever video, so be kind. Um, my name is Jessica. I am a single mother, a working mother, and I'm sure there are more people like me who watch all these makeup tutorials and they are not for the working person. So I decided to make my own, get these makeup done in a very quick time. That way I can move on with my life and I don't have all day to work on my makeup. So if you are like me and like trying to hurry up, I use the CoverGirl Outlast all day. It is the 3-in-1 foundation. It has primer, concealer, and the foundation. So I'm going to squirt some onto my blending brush and quickly add it on. I always start with my under eyes because as a mother, I don't get as much sleep as I would like to. And then I work from the rest of my face. And I try to get this done as quickly as possible before I take my daughter to school and go to work myself. So I want to look professional without looking tired. And with the virus going on, I don't pay much attention to my lips anymore. So I try to go um, a little fun on my eyes so I put it on my eyelids because again this acts like a primer as well when I have more time I do put actual eyelid primer on and as you can see I got a little blemish right there so I'm trying to cover that up So I put this all the way around. In my skin tone, I use the Nude Beige 832. See? Trying to get that all around. All right. Then I use my big brush, it's e.l.f., it's easy to get to. And I blend it all in, especially in my hairline, because who wants makeup in the hair? And try to go down my neck so that it doesn't look like I have two skin colors. Push it all the way around. That way it doesn't look so cakey, see? And then I use this softer brush to blend it again. All right, and for my eyes, let's see. I should get this out beforehand, but I don't have much time to do all that. So I get my eyeliner. I like the gel ones so I can just outline my eyelids. And before, when I was a new mother, I honestly just wore eyeliner and eyeshadow. Well, like I, well, it's a mascara. That way I had some sort of definition. I'm going to do in my tear line. So then I get that done, and then I get this little black brush. It's very li little. And then I just blend that out so it doesn't look so hard. You hear my dog right now. All 
<clears throat> and then for eyeshadows, like I said, I try to play around because, you know, I can't really get playful with my, um, with my lipsticks anymore. Like I used to do different colors and maybe do a purple. Oh, and this thing, this little sponge thing is less than $3. I got it from Amazon and it helps get the powder off my shadow brush. And I got the Ulta Girls United because girls rock. Um, and I had a coupon. So I'm going with the Natural Beat right there. And then putting it on my upper lid. And I think I'm gonna go a little gray today because I'm wearing a gray shirt. And I know you're not supposed to wear, uh, do your eye color the way you're dressed. But I tend to because I feel like I am coordinating more. So I have this e.l.f. matte palette. Um, most of these palettes I get from my sister because she loves getting the higher end uh, makeup. And even though she's younger than me, she likes to do it. So whatever she doesn't like, she gives to me. So I am not going to take that away. So I'm doing my actual lid now. scrape off the color on this and I tend to use the same brush because who has time to go through all their brushes like I have all these brushes like when I'm in a good mood and when I have the time I'll use majority of them but for most of the time I just use one so then I'm gonna go into my crease me some definition and make a little line there and right now I'm just going with a darker gray <laughs> do the same on the other eye So then I do switch up the brush and get into my blending brush. And I think I got this from Wish. I got like a whole thing of purple because I love purple. And then I'm just going to lightly blend this out. That way it's not so harsh. My daughter's watching YouTube right now. So that's not a real baby crying in the background. I'm not being negligent or anything. Blend it a little bit more. And then sometimes if I have more time to spare, I like to add a little shimmer to my lid. this brush and just brush off any excess 
It'll like fall out. And then I'll get my mascara. I typically use CoverGirl on my foundations and my eyelashes because it's cheap and it lasts. It does just as good as the other ones. And then go on my lower lid. Got a hair. There we go. I know I got some mascara on my nose. There we go. And then use my blush brush. Again. <coughs> my dogs. And then I just use Revolution brush, uh, blush. Something I got from uh, Marshalls. They always have really cute stuff for cheap. And who has time to contour? Yes, I would love to spend the time contouring, but I just use some blush. And then I use this again, blend it all out. And then once every few weeks, I use henna to um, tint my eyebrows. I got this from uh, Amazon as well. Because as I've noticed, the older I get, the more lighter my brows have gotten. So this, I'm just brushing out any foundation that was in my brows and to get them into place. And then every Sunday, I typically um, pluck my own eyebrows. And I have these stand out just a little bit. And then I use some M NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Because like I said, I want it to last all day. And since my lips are covered anyway, just use baby lips to get some hydration. Another tip, always brush your teeth before you do your makeup. That way, all of this hard work doesn't go to waste when you're brushing your teeth and then all of a sudden all the foundation is coming off of your chin. So this is the finished look for a working mother. And I hope you guys like this video. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, I will try to do as many videos as I can because like I said I do go a little bit more playful with the eyes just today I figured I'd go with a simple look um but yes like and subscribe you guys have a good day stay safe and I'll see you guys later bye